Hello Libra, welcome to your weekly reading. I hope you're all doing well and excited for the week ahead. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign Libra. And of course, if you like this reading, please like, subscribe, comment and share the content if that's what you feel like doing. I love all that you do on my channel and for private readings specific to you, please visit katytarot.com. So let's take a look Libra at your week ahead, calling in your angels and guides, spirit and source energy for Libra. Just be patient a moment as I draw the cards for you, Libra. This is a general reading, remember, so please take what resonates for you personally and just leave what doesn't. energies around you for the week Libra let's take a look at your first message we have the seven of action it says you're being called upon to claim your personal power feel confident as your angels will give you the strength to say no when it's the right thing to do for yourself your struggle may actually stem from an unresolved inner conflict rather than a conflict with others so there's a real energy here this week for you, Libra, to take a step back and to perhaps say no to a situation or a person if it doesn't feel right to you. I am seeing that the person that this could affect, they didn't expect this. You know, they didn't want you to do this. They don't want you to say no. But I feel that perhaps you really have to. So this is for your own well-being, your own health. This could be because there's a lot of drama going on. But whatever situation or reason it is for you individually, Libra, this is a healthy thing to do. And Spirit is saying to you this week that stand strong. Stand strong in your position. And if you need to pull back energetically if you need to say no to someone or a situation it is the right thing to do for yourself now of course this energy can mean that there's some inner conflict going on as well just as the card mentions I can see that some of you may have been struggling with a decision a choice or something going on in your life and it's an internal thing and I'm seeing that if that's the case spirit is really bringing through a healing energy and you will be able to make the right choice and to and to pull up and out of this energy of inner conflict. So a really nice energy coming through for you because it's very empowered. Regardless of what, of what other people think or what this other person I'm picking up on is going to say or, or what they do, they may have that reaction because they expect you to say yes or they expect you to go along with the program and you're not going to or Spirit is advising you perhaps don't do that. And that's why they don't want you to, that's why they're surprised and there's an energy of perhaps they're not, them not wanting you to do it, um, to stand up for yourself or to make, um, stand on your own two feet or, ma or make your own way about things. Okay, so that's an interesting message to come through and I feel it's very important for some someone. So let's take a look here at your next message. Dream sweet, sleep deep. So we've got messages coming through for you, Libra, in dream state. So spirit is bringing through messages and signs. A dream journal is something to perhaps do this week if you're not already doing it. It says sleep that's deep and last till morn. Wondrous dreams for days reborn. So there is also an energy here about making sure that you take care of your sleep patterns, take care of how many hours a night you're getting sleep, making sure it's deep sleep and rejuvenating sleep. Okay, so this is very important for your well-being this week. And keep a lookout for those messages from spirit as well in terms of what's coming through symbolically in your dreams. Letting go. I surrender joyously to the ebb ebbing and flowing of life beautiful so I feel this is in relation to what's happening here with the seven of action um, you know you're getting on top of things you're making sure that you are in a position of power and empowerment which is wonderful 
I'm, I'm seeing that it's important to let go of a situation or a person or let go of what they think of you. Don't take that on board. Just go with the flow here. Surrender. Surrender to the joy of the situation. Um, so, or letting go will give you joy in your own life. So that's a beautiful message coming through. It's important for you to let go in some regard. And we have, you're already doing it. Stop overthinking. Keep facing your true north. So you're already doing something that is right. You already have the strength, the courage, the fortitude to keep on um, to keep on with your path, to keep on with this project or relationship or being true to you, whatever it is for you specifically, Libra, you are already doing it. So keep on doing it. Stop overthinking. And perhaps that's where this um, sleep energy comes in. Perhaps you are thinking a lot and it's keeping you up at night. And there's perhaps some stress and worry that's going into an area of your life and spirit is encouraging you to stop overthinking it. You are already facing your true north. You already know intuitively what, what it is you need to do or the action that you need to take or how you need to be. So that's very encouraging. Let's take a look at where you are currently. Yes, the Eight of Swords. Okay, there's restriction around you with communication or in a situation. Perhaps in a relationship dynamic, things haven't been the best or you feel that there's no contact here or there hasn't been any communication. It's been difficult to rise above a situation. But look, we have the Seven of Actions. So if that's been the case, if you have been feeling you haven't been able to rise above a situation, the Seven of Action means that you will. You are going to rise above things. There is an element here coming in that Spirit wants you to know about of freedom. So you're going to free yourself mentally, perhaps because you've been restricting yourself in some way by overthinking mentally. And it's affecting your sleep and therefore your well-being. And also if you regularly receive symbols and messages through your dream state, it's been blocking that as well. So I'm seeing you becoming more free of this situation that you find yourself in, this restriction that you find yourself in. The Hermit energy is the base of the situation here leading up to the current moment. So the Hermit means that you're really um, following your own path here. You're really facing your true north. It really ties into this energy here. You're already doing it. You're already making the right decisions or you will very soon because you're following your intuition. You're following your inner guidance. And that's not going to lead you astray. You must trust we, You must trust this Libra. So really wonderful energy. This can mean withdrawal and it also means that there may be a Virgo around you. So you may be withdrawing from this Virgo or... Um, you're taking some time out in some respect in your life. It may just be not just not physical, um, not physically being taken away from a situation, but perhaps mentally. The Ace of Cups. Okay, so the Ace of Cups means that there has been an offer coming in towards you. Perhaps there has been a hope of something improving on an emotional level recently. This is a wonderful energy of potential. So there definitely has been some potential for growth and development here in terms of your heart, in terms of a connection with your heart, with someone else or in a situation in your life. We have the eight of wands. So if things have been restricted with communication, things are definitely getting moving with the eight of wands. This means all forms of communication. It can mean that there's messaging it can mean that you are actually talking to someone so there may be a reconnection here i'm seeing for you that in terms of you standing up for yourself coming back to the seven of um the seven of wands the seven of action here your very first card i'm seeing that uh, you standing up for yourself standing your ground perhaps saying no is going to bring the freedom that you are after this restriction here is going to be eased because you are saying what needs to be said. And the tower energy is around you as well. So things are definitely going to shake up for you. This means that um, things are changing for the better. Even if it seems initially that things are a bit bumpy, things are not going smoothly because the tower can mean that there's a disruption. However, even though that energy is there, it means that something better is on the way for you. And I can see that because you have all of this wonderful breaking free of the communication here. You don't want to be stuck. You don't want to be in this eight of swords anymore mentally or 
physically or in a situation you really don't so you're breaking free of that you're breaking down the structures and and the 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 boundaries that you've had around you and perhaps that comes into you standing up for yourself and saying no or you pulling back your energy in some way so really great energy for the week ahead libra i hope you have a wonderful week ahead and i'll talk to you all again soon